hello friends welcome to our uh, another video from yb and in this video tutorial we are talking about general science solutions for class 6 science chapter 1 natural resources air water and land in this uh, chapter we have to must learn some important points um, in the in the in that first is the natural resources what are natural resources the elements available in nature which fulfill the basic needs of living things are called as the natural resources. Air, water and land are the most important natural resources. These are three uh, most important natural resources. Soil. The soil has the both biotic and abiotic constraint. Biotic means living things present like microorganisms are present in soil. Abiotic means non-living things are present in a soil, like uh, nutrients are present in soil. There are many constituents of air, uh, such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, inert gas, water vapor, dust particles are present in the soil. Okay, now ozone layer is the protective shell of earth. Ozone layer is the protective shell of earth because ozone layer protect us from the harmful ultraviolet rays that comes from the sun to the earth. Uh, natural resources should be used uh, carefully. Now move to the question and answers of this uh, chapter. In that first is the fill in the blank. In that question number A. The layer of ozone gas absorbs ultraviolet rays that comes from sun to the earth. Answer is ultraviolet rays. B. Of the total water available on the earth, fresh water forms 0.3%. 0.3% water is only available uh, to consume. C. Both biotic as well as abiotic constraints are present in the soil we have already discussed uh, in the important points now move to the next question uh, question number second why it is said that the ozone layer is the protective shell of the earth we have already discussed that ozone layer absorbs the harmful ultraviolet harmful ultraviolet rays that comes from sun to the earth that's why ozone layer is called as a protective shell of the earth now question b water is life because without water we cannot function properly our metabolism is totally dependent on the water and we cannot survive without water that's why water is our life okay question number c Sea water is useful even though it is not potable because sea water supports vast quantity of marine life that serve as food for us and plant like sea commonly known as phytoplankton recycles oxygen for you and and I to breathe sea water also moderates the climate sea water जो है वो climate भी क्या करती है moderate करती है now question number three what will happen if microbes in the soil get destroyed अगर uh, soil में के पूरे microbes अगर destroy हो जाते हैं तो क्या uh, होता है answer is if all microbes in the soil get destroyed the soil all the soil respiration and soil nutrient cycling will be stopped soil loses its nutri nutrients and hence plants will not get any nutrients from the soil and there will be no plants on the earth if the uh, plants are not present on the earth then uh, man cannot be survive without plant okay so these are the very bad effects uh, if the microbes are destroyed from the soil in that question number b <coughs> The number of vehicles and factories in our surrounding increase. Answer is, answer is if the increased number of vehicles and factories in surroundings will give rise to employment for many people, that's very true. But this, at the same time, they will pose threat to the entire environment. There will be more emission of carbon dioxide 
and harm other harmful gases that will lead to uh, various heart and lung disorders and uh, humans have very bad effect if the number of vehicles and factories are present in our surrounding okay now see the total supply of potable water is finished what happen if the total uh, potable water is finished answer is if the potable water is finished the non potable water can be made potable through reverse osmosis and steam distillation among other methods this uh, methods uh, problem is these methods are generally expensive and energy intensive so the energy prices would inevitably soar okay now question number 4 match the following in that group a and group b is given uh, group a is consist of carbon so carbon is mainly plants and water for food production okay oxygen uh, oxygen is combustion water for rain and microbes for generation of dioxide soil okay now question number 5 name the following in that a constituent of the biosphere biosphere consists of three components one is the lithosphere which means lands hydrosphere which means water and atmosphere means air these are the main constituent of the biosphere question b biotic constituent of soil we have already discussed in the important uh, points soil consists of biotic factors like living organisms are present in the soil now what are the living uh, organisms like microbes animals uh, birds plants fungi similar other organisms bacteria are present in soil viruses are present in the soil these are the biotic constituent of the soil okay now question c fossil fuels fossil fuels means what a fossil fuel is Uh, formed by the natural processes such as anaerobic decomposition a buried dead organism containing energy originating in the ancient photosynthesis such organism and their resulting fossil fuels typically have an age of millions of years and sometimes more than 650 millions years okay now d inert gases in air answer is there are many gases that make up the atmosphere including inert gases when we refer to inert gases we are usually referring the six primary ones are the called as noble gases noble gases are also called as inert gases so most common inert gases is helium argon neon krypton xenon and radon these are the most common inert gases or noble gases which are present in the air e gases are harmful to the ozone layer answer is chlorofluorocarbon cfs which is mainly responsible for ozone depletion and other halogenated ozone depleting substance like ods are mainly responsible for man made chemical ozone depletion okay now question number 6 true or false okay in that a land and soil are the same thing it is uh, not true it is a false okay b the water and lake is called as ground water it's true c it takes about 1000 years to form a 25 cm thick layer of soil false d radon is used in a used in a decorating lights it's true now move to the question number 7 answer in your words in your own words in that question number 8 explain with the help of a diagram how soil is formed the soil is formed in millions years the soil is made up of very small particles 
the soil is the thin layer of mineral covering uh, the earth surface and is formed from the weathering of rocks it is made up of mainly marine particles organic materials air water and living organisms okay now uh, here is the diagram by which we can easily said uh, soil is mainly uh, formed from the this type of rock uh, this type of rock is converted into this one this one is converted into the uh, this one and finally we get the soil okay now in that question number b why there is a shortage of water even through it occupies about 71 percent of the earth surface answer is because all the 71 percent in the form of salty water present in the ocean and seas so it can be utilized for daily purposes like bathing drinking etc water out of three percent two is the form of glaciers so okay now question c what are the various constraints of air right there uses we have already discussed what are the constraints of air so various constraint like uh, nitrogen are present in uh, air oxygen present uh, carbon dioxide present and uh, organ inert gases are present in uh, air now these constraint are denoted by the pie chart uh, where nitrogen is 78 percent present oxygen is 21 is percent uh, the one percent include various gases with carbon dioxide and argon being the most abundant of the earth now what are the importance of the air okay in that first the importance of air can be understood by the fact that earth supports life because of the present of this air in the surrounding it is required for various biological functions and biochemical cycles this is all about the uh, what are what is air what are the constraints of air and what are the importance of the air okay now question d why are air water land considered to be valuable natural resources answer is air water and land are considered to be valuable natural resources because they cannot be reconstructed by human beings they are exhausted or polluted these are natural resources are limited should be very carefully maintained for the goodness as well being of living organisms on the world that's why air water and land considered to be valuable natural resources okay move to the next what are the importance of the land so all land um, terrestrial organism live on land we use it for purpose like land forming building houses roads construction of roads uh, the plants and animals which we use grow on the land the minerals which we obtain from deep inside the earth are also important resources for example petrol and coal are the important for land so question number six observe the pictures along alongside and the questions okay where do you we see birds it is very simple answer is in the air we generally see uh, birds in the air they are also uh, seated on the uh, lands also but they are commonly present on the uh, air okay two where is the cow grazing very simple question and answer is on land <coughs> question three locate the trees and road okay now question four where does the river comes from how does it flow rivers comes from mountains and it flows uh, smoothly when floods are come uh, they become harmful or uh, very dangerous okay question five where is the aeroplane aeroplane in the sky question six 
where are the fish seen generally it's seen in the water they cannot survive in the land okay question number seven on what is the sail sail boat floating on the water answer is on the water now uh, some of the important points in of your book uh, use your brain brain power like question so we are uh, discussing these uh, points also start uh, starting with the question number first <coughs> question number one is the what would happen if there were no air on the earth if the air is gone from the earth what happened if the air was not on the earth plants and animals would not survive the later use of oxygen respiration therefore they will not get the necessary fuel for the breakdown of the food products moreover the ultraviolet rays fall on the earth and cause untold destruction because atmosphere will lack ozone layer uh, okay question number second in the ways in the water in seas and oceans useful even through it is salty answer is the sea and ocean waters even salty they useful for the following ways the salt can be separated and the water in the seas and ocean can be used for drinking purposes if the salt of the water sea water we can remove they use for the drink, drinking purposes okay uh, b the salt can be extracted and purified to make edible salt that's why um, this sea water can be used for our purposes question 3 what are the constituent of soil classify the biotic and abiotic constituent okay now answer is soil is made up of four constituent mineral material organic material air and water there are considered to be three main mineral parts soil sand slate and clay these parts give the soil its mineral structure abiotic and biotic as we uh, before we have discussed in the important points biotic factors means uh, non living things are present in the abiotic factors uh, non living things are present in a soil okay abiotic factors refers to non living physical and chemical constituents physical and chemical constituent of the soil are called as a abiotic factor in the ecosystem abiotic resources are usually obtained from the lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere example of abiotic factors are water air soil and sunlight and mineral now biotic factors biotic factors are the living ones uh, present in the soil in the ecosystem these are obtained from the biosphere are capable of reproduction example of biotic factors like animals birds plants fungi other similar microorganisms organisms some bacteria viruses fungi are present in the soil okay now move to the can you tell uh, in that question number first what is land made answer is earth is made up of land air water and life mountains valleys and flat places make the land okay question number two is land flat everywhere so no in mountains the flat may be zigzag okay question number three what do you see on the land and answer all the things that are that are present on land like tree grasses animal plants are present on the land question number four does man produce soil or land so answer is no man cannot uh, produce soil man, uh, okay this is all about the question and answers of the this chapter hope you will like it subscribe to our channel